Hey, Mom, the toilet's plugged again. Again? Tim, whew, this stinks. Okay, son, go to the front and call me when a customer comes. First smoke. I remember mine's. First of all, let me start by saying I'm not a smoker. Never have been, never will be. It just ain't my thing. But I'm not here to judge because your boy once dabbled with smoking. Now, the story is inspired by Bronny, a.k.a. LeBron James Jr. Now, if you don't know what happened to the young burner Bronny, quick lesson. See, a couple weeks ago, a video surfaced on the internet of Bronny. Now, this wasn't the regular LJJ hooping videos. Mm -mm. My man's Bronny? was on that good good. Fast forward a couple weeks later, little Belt James win the championship and we haven't heard from Bronny ever since. Now, just like Bronny, your boy made the same mistake. So for this story, I'ma take you back. Back to when I was 10 years old. See, when you're young, smoking looks cool. Matter of fact, anything you can't do as a kid looks cool. So one day after school, my boy AJ and I were watching one of my favorite movies, Friday. And if you watch Friday, you know. So AJ was like, hey Tim, you ever smoke? Shh, you crazy? Keep it down. My mom's in the next room. Oh, my bad. Nah, you? Me neither. You ever thought about doing it? Mm, no, not really. Why? I think we should try it. Word? How are we gonna do that? You should get some from your parents' shop. Now, since we couldn't get some of that good good, our second option was to get a pack from my parents. See, at the time, my parents owned a mom and pop shop in the neighborhood, and one of the things they sold was a pack of cigarettes. But here's the problem. Stealing packs wasn't gonna be easy. First, I needed to find a way to be all by myself in the shop. Now, this was difficult because there's no way my parents would just leave a 10-year-old all alone in the shop. Second, I needed to find a way to distract my parents while in the shop, then get the box, hide it, and dip outside and smoke it. Yeah. Not easy. So I started thinking, okay, think Tim, how you gonna pull this off? Can't do it in front of mom and pops. So what should I do? Hmm. Then he hit me. See, the week before, I heard my parents talk about how much issues they were having with the shop's toilet clogging up. So I figured, that's it. It's gotta work. See, my plan was simple. First, I needed to go to the store in the morning with my parents and act like I wanted to help around the shop. Then, all I had to do is wait for the moment I needed to use the bathroom, then I'll go to the bathroom, lay a masterpiece. Now here's the crucial part. Since my parents were having toilet issues, I needed to find a way to clog the toilet, and what's better than using toilet paper? So fast forward, I get to the store with my mom, and a couple hours into the shift, I suddenly feel the bubbles. This is it. So I go to my mom, hey mom, my stomach is killing me. I gotta use the bathroom. So I get in the bathroom and start laying it down. Then after I finished, I filled the toilet with all the toilet paper and then flushed it. And just as planned, the toilet clogs. Good, it worked. So I leave the toilet, get back to my mom, and I'm like, Hey mom, the toilet's plugged again. Again? Tim, whew, this stinks. Okay son, go to the front and call me when a customer comes. This was my opportunity. So I get to the register, look around, and make sure the coast is clear. Yeah, I'm good. Then I grab a pack of black amount from the top shelf and put it in my back pocket. Looked around and acted like nothing happened. So fast forward, my mom gets the toilet unclogged, comes back, and now it's my final step. So I was like, mom, I'm still not feeling well. Can I go outside and lay in the back? Oh, my poor baby, what's wrong? My stomach hurts. So I go in the back, check to make sure my mom wasn't looking, took out the blacks, Took out the lighter and lit it up. This was it, my first puff. So I put the black in my mouth and puffed it as hard as I could. <laughs> Damn, this thing gonna kill me. Tim, are you okay? <laughs> yes, mom, I'm all right. So after a couple of puffs, my body got adjusted to it. So I finished my first black and fell asleep in the backyard. So fast forward to lunchtime. Not during lunchtime, my mom will close the shop and drive home for an hour break. So she tells me to get in the car and go for our lunch break. Now about lunchtime, my dad had gotten back from his doctor's appointment. So we all get in the car and start driving home. Halfway, 
I hear my mom say, Anybody smell that? Smells like the car is smoking. Oh, shh. Then it hit me. I forgot to do one very important thing. I didn't get any cologne to cover all the smoke smell. Now I start panicking. Damn, Tim, stupid. Why didn't you think of bringing a cologne? Tim, do you smell that? It's coming from the back. Uh, no, Mom. I don't smell anything. See, here's the problem. Both my parents didn't smoke, and if you know anything about non-smokers is, they can smell a smoke scent from a mile away. So my dad was like, no, that's not a car smell. That smells more like cigarettes. Oh, shh. Dad, l let me open the window. Wait, hold up. Son, is that coming from you? It is what coming from me? Knowing damn well it's coming from me. But, gotta play dumb. Tim, come closer. Why? Tim, come here now. So I moved closer to my mom, and it didn't take but a couple of sniffs for her to figure out that I'm the one that smelled like smoke. Boy, you been smoking? No. Empty your pockets now. So I emptied my front pockets, and there was nothing in it. No, not your front pockets. Oh, no. So I slowly moved my hands to my back pocket, pull out the pockets. Boy, is that what I think it is? And thank God. My mom couldn't reach me, cause she swung as hard as she could, but missed. No, mom, it's not mine. Get over here. Moral of the story. It's what you do in the dark that puts you in the light. What's up, world? Thank you for joining your boy for another video. And kids, remember, don't try this at home. First, I gotta say, next week's video will be a 200K Q&A special. And merch is dropping, baby. Damn, Tim. I see you. It's about damn time. If you want to support your boy, please cop some merch. I've been working real hard on these designs, y'all. Also, if you have any questions you want answered, you can ask under this video or message me on IG at Timeless Living for the special Q&A. Now let's get straight to it. First shout out goes to the homie, Lumsifin. What's up, though? I see you. You got a Fortnite YouTube channel. Okay, I dig that. Follow my guy on YouTube at Loomzy and on IG at Loomzy Finn. Second shout out goes to Dead Recon. What's up, doe? Okay, I see you, youngin. I see you got a Twitch channel too. Okay, follow my guy on Twitch at twitch.tv slash dead underscore love underscore edits. And on IG at dead underscore Recon. Keep grinding, bro. Last shout out goes to my homie, Astro. What's up, bro? Okay, a YouTube channel too. Follow my guy on YouTube at Astro and on IG at Astro underscore space five. Keep doing your thing, bro. As always, if you want a shout out, subscribe to the channel, follow your boy on IG and send me that screenshot. As always, live timeless.